I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here we are outside on the back porch. Just got finished cleaning out this system. This is the Cube Computer Mid Tower Lux, my main system, and. I think it'd be a good opportunity to talk about a nice subject here um, about the water cooling system. So, back in late 2017, early 2018, is when I last did a major upgrade on the system and went from the old FX8120 socket AM3 Plus setup to this Ryzen 7 1700X setup. Been that way for, geez, five years now. So, after the first year of service, uh, this liquid cooling system had uh, Premium Chill PC Ice cooling in it, which unfortunately, after about 10 or 11 months, the whole system got just it. it looked, the, uh, the water cooling system was like an aquarium, so I had to get rid of that stuff, flush this system out really well, and just just to note, we have a radiator here does have copper tubing in it that the coolant passes through. We have a copper block and we have these brass fittings. These are actually PEX fittings here. You know, all that good stuff. The uh, pump is a SC600 generic pump from China. It's about five years old. Best 20 something dollars I ever spent. So, anyway, the subject is the coolant. So, after I had the issues with the Premature PC Ice Cool, and I'm not saying Premature is a bad brand by any means, but I think the PC Ice, there probably were some bad batches of that, of that stuff. But, uh, let me get this off here. This one had a little bit of vacuum on it. But, um, so currently what we've had in there ever since is automotive antifreeze coolant, ethylene glycol. In fact, this is actually pressed on coolant. It is a ratio of about 25 to 75 coolant to distilled water. And it's been this way for, again, five years. And if we look through here, since we got the sun out, you may be able to see the coolant looks fine. So, a lot of people out there ask if you know, in the case that you're doing a liquid cooling system, can you use car antifreeze? There is a yes and a no to that. It depends on what kind of coolant you're talking about. So, some PC water cooling systems, including some kits out there, the coolant they use is essentially the same as antifreeze. It has ethylene glycol in it. And I'm pretty sure this would also apply to some or a lot of the all-in-one liquid cooling systems out there. It's particularly the ones that have mixed metals. They have a copper cold plate along with an aluminum radiator. You gotta have a special coolant in those that does not allow the metals to, of course, corrode. So, Automotive antifreeze, ethylene glycol, is one of those coolants out there that can be used. Now, I should mention, if you do want to use automotive antifreeze in your system, there's two key things you got to watch out for. Well, number one, um, you have to keep in mind that this stuff is poisonous. It's antifreeze. Um, if you have pets in the house, if you have kids in the house... Um, it's something you gotta keep in mind. Now, I'm gonna say the chances of your system leaking are relatively low if you build it well. Some people like to call mine a hack job, but hey, it's been going for five years. And that don't include the years of service that provided me before the rides and setup. Um, as long as you build it well, um, your chances of it leaking are relatively low, but you gotta keep that in mind. If, you have, if a leak happens, and you, let's say if you have cats, for example, you know, cats love to get everywhere. Um, your cat could end up drinking the stuff and it could kill it. So you have to keep that in mind. And also if you have small children, you know, like that. Something you gotta keep in mind. Um, also number two is you don't want to use, if you are gonna use coolant for 
automotive you know, automotive coolant don't use um hoat coolants or dex cool those are not good coolants for something like this you would want to stick with a traditional green and one of the reasons why i ended up putting automotive antifreeze in this thing is because i simply had it in my shed it was i was in a situation where i had flushed out the system and i needed to put something back in it and i wasn't going to go just distilled i needed to put something back in it that would not allow algae to grow therefore automotive antifreeze was the answer um it's since i had it in since i had it in the shed I had uh, some 50-50 pre-diluted stuff in a shed, and I just did a half and half mix of that stuff with distilled water. And it's been working fine for four years. So, you can draw your own conclusions about antifreeze coolant in a uh, computer system that's water-cooled, but uh, automotive antifreeze will do the job. Just gotta keep some things in mind. Again, um, the fact that this stuff is poisonous, it is ethylene glycol. Now, there is a non-toxic version out there. It's called propylene glycol. And, and speaking of cats, we got a little cat right there. Um, as I was saying, uh, so propylene glycol, I think you can find that stuff in RV antifreeze. It's the stuff that you pour into your RV's plumbing system or your boat's plumbing system, if you got like a houseboat, to winterize it. Now... I'm not real certain if that stuff is, is safe to run in a, in a coolant loop, but I can say that the automotive antifreeze, at least ethylene glycol, traditional green, diluted down with the stilt, has worked fine for, for my needs. So, this system runs nonstop 24-7, 365. It never shuts off, except for times like this. Obviously, it ain't running right now, but, uh, you get the idea the thing runs hard it runs pretty much non-stop and i'd say it's it's worked very reliably um and i should say that the coolant is something the uh antifreeze coolant it's something you can put in there that will that will provide you years of reliable service before you have to flush it and change it out probably to be honest the time that i'll be flushing and changing out this coolant is probably when i next upgrade this system <laughs> to be honest with you because i mean it looks i mean it looks perfectly fine as of right now so so yeah guys um if you've ever thought about using antifreeze coolant in your system um, let's say you have something out in the garage or whatever um and you're, you're you're throwing together a loop I mean, if it's traditional green and you accept the risk and take the precautions, if you have pets or uh, kids, then you should be okay. Um, this system, the radiator, I think is an automotive AC evaporator of some kind. It's, I don't even know what it came out of. I found it in my grandpa's shed over 10 years ago. And my dad flared on some um, fittings, some barb fittings. That way I could attach tubing to this thing. And, of course, I got four 92mm fans and a pole configuration. And, of course, we got this little guy right here at my feet. You kitty, kitty, kitty. But, um, the tubing is literally just the, the vinyl tubing you get at Lowe's. I mean, it's worked really well. Um, so, I mean, it's cheap and it's worked really well. So there you have it, and of course, yes, I use zip ties to uh, tie everything together. I mean, it's worked fine. These fittings here are actually PEX fittings. They're quite big, and it takes a good bit of work getting the tubing on there, but it gives you a nice, secure fit. Um, let me tell you from past experience trying to tear the system down when I, uh, back in late 2017, it was quite a job, I'll say that, because Back in late 2017 when I did this system upgrade, um, it got a new water block. It got a block that was compatible with the uh, FM2 and the uh, AM4 um, processors. It also got all new tubing, new coolant, um, new pump. Fixed the reds. The reds had a, had a hairline crack over here. I was able to get that fixed up with a lot of super glue and it's been fine for a few years now. So. It's what you call a water cooling system on a budget. 
<laughs> if you want to call it that. So again, on the subject of PC coolant, um, some PC coolants out there, I mean, if you look at the ingredients, sometimes they'll tell you, sometimes they won't. But if you look at the ingredients that they provide, um, some PC coolants out there are essentially the same thing or very similar to automotive antifreeze. So, and from my experience, antifreeze coolant has worked fine in this system. Again, I'll repeat myself again, it's, pre, it's, it's diluted down to 25% uh, coolant to 75% water. And I must say, this little SC600 pump runs better with the automotive antifreeze coolant mixture than it did with the premature PC ice. It sounded pretty chattery with the PC ice, whereas the glycol, the water mixture, is a little thicker. I think it's a little thicker. I think that has something to do with it. And I, can, I guess I can say it's probably helped extend pump life because, I mean, again, this pump has ran near constantly for five years. And that pump cost me less than $30 brand new. So I just did a video about the pump, actually. Um, about you know, five years of reliable service. You can see right there, SC600. Anyways, the sun is just about to go down. So I need to go and wrap this up. It's starting to get pretty chilly out here. And of course, got this little fella at my feet. Want some attention. So guys, this ain't the first time this kitty has been on my channel. This ain't my cat. This is like the neighbor's cat. Yeah, he likes to likes to roam around. Usually pretty skittish, but it's gotten used to me. So there you have it. Once the cat once the cat adopts you, you're in trouble. I'll say that. <laughs> so, we'll end this video with a look at Kitty Kitty. I think his actual name is Panther. But uh. So yeah, automotive and freeze coolant, it definitely is an option. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Kukur channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Kukur Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.